All right, right now, before we get into this video, subscribe to the channel because it's been too long, that's for sure, since we've done a giveaway. And this one is huge. When I say huge, I mean we're picking two winners and each winner is going to get a $500 gift card to either Gasp or Better Bodies Clothing. So again, two winners, you have to be subscribed to the channel. All you have to do is comment below. I don't even care what you comment. You can try to make me laugh. You can be serious, whatever you want. All you have to do is comment below and be subscribed to the channel. But this is just a way to say thank you for all the support that you guys have given us, given me, and we want to give back to you. And so thank you to Gas and Better Bodies for partnering with me and doing this for you guys. So let's get into the video. It's my first time. <laughs> Newbie. Well, these are new. I just picked them up today. I went to the Tough Wraps headquarters and uh, snagged a few more pieces. Told them that today's back day and I, I like to use these for uh, high grip. They gave me a couple other ones too, but I just like these. They're, they're like the most convenient, the easiest ones. I'll show you the other ones I have, but these are the ones that I roll with. Light up that lower back, those lower lats. I'm gonna do a couple variations of pull downs do some wide grip and then some closer grip. And that should really get those lower lats firing before we go on and doing some free weight barbell stuff. We went wide grip and now we're going to go closer grip. So since 
since we're already warmed up, I don't really feel the need to do a bunch more warm up sets when we switch the different hand positionings. So I did knock the weight down on the first set, but we're gonna go right into working sets. So three total sets, including that first one with the different uh, hand positioning. I think that's all you really need. As long as you get at least two to three good solid working sets. You don't need to do a bunch of, you know, baby warm up sets. You already warmed up, come on. You know, just make sure that the movement feels good and rock it and roll. You, you wanna get me on the last two here? Just, just a bit, a couple. One rep at a time. Got it. It's gotta be lights out. Show them, baby, come on. Yeah. It's game time. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yep. Get it down. Pull it out. Come on. Yep. Big. Okay. These headphones are going to fall. I'm not even listening to anything, to be honest. <laughs> Let's go. Set the tone. Set the tone for this workout. Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna bump the weight up just a little bit more. Uh, but I'm gonna do a drop set too. So like, this last set is everything. Stack it, drop it. Yeah, whole stack, and then we're dropping. So, I wanna get somewhere between minimum 15 reps, if I do just one drop, to 20. But let's just let's just run it. One one at a time. Okay. Come on, hit forward. Yes, sir. Here's oh. forward. Here's forward. Come on. Come on, one it. it. Yeah. Up. Let's go. No. Oh, stay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on. Got it. Come on. Two more. Copy. Drop it down to 20. 60. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on. Stop it again. My headphones. Ah. Come on. Come on. Lay it down. Hey. Lay it down. Ah. Lights out. Ah. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ah. Come on. Get it down. Hey. One more. One more. Come on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's it, babe. That's it. Okay, good warm up. Let's go uh, go do some barbell rows, baby. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go. Yeah! Oh, nut! <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm at the gym. All right, see you, brother. I love you, honey, but bro, I'm trying to work out here. I usually don't like to wait that long between my top sets. Now, we're gonna increase the weight and do a couple sets of rack pulls. So, if you guys have seen some of my previous back workouts, I've done this before where my bread and butter of the workout is barbell rows, and then I go straight into rack pulls. And that's what I just did on this top set was I did as many rows as I possibly could with as much weight as I could. And then I did a, a few reps of rack pulls as a superset. So now I'm warmed up, ready to go. I can lift even more weight doing rack pulls than I can rows. And we're going to put more weight in our hands and do a few even heavier sets. Whew. Yeah. 
All right, so done some a good amount of free weights now, you know. Uh, added some decent weight to the bar, right? And uh, I think now we need to to kind of transition more into isolating the muscles of the back rather than just throwing around some weight, right? Like we should always be focused on the muscles that we're trying to stimulate that day. But I do think it's good to come in here and, and move some free weights, right? There's some days where you just want to stack up the bar and, and move some weight. And I think that was good for today. Um, but now we need to finish up by really making sure that we're hammering isolation and, and getting as much stimulus in the muscle as possible without just, you know, moving from point A to point B in an exercise, if that makes sense. So. Yes. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I wanna do a chest supported movement, either a, a reverse grip low row or a neutral grip um, straight row. But either way, I wanna do, do it with a chest support. So that's really just gonna put all the isolation in the back muscles. Uh, and then after that, we'll see how that feels. May do like another exercise or two and call it a day. But um, just so that way that the viewers out there have an idea of what kind of goes through my head during this training session. Come in, we did some pull downs, a couple variations, isolate those lower lats, come in, stack on the, the weight on the barbell rows, just a, a heavy compound movement. Same as the um, rack pulls, just put some heavy weight in our hands and move. Then we did the T-bar the row here, a more of a neutral grip, medium grip. But now, now we go isolate with a chest support, so. You don't have to use these every time, but top sets, you're gonna almost cheat yourself if you don't because your grip's gonna give out before your back does. You gotta, it's literally what somebody told me when I first started training was, cause I was like, should I use, should I use these kind of things like wraps and stuff? They said, you're almost cheating yourself cause you ain't able to go quite as heavy cause your grip. And I was like, oh yeah. So I wouldn't use these every time, but like when you're warming up, but top sets, you have to. You always hear people say, pull your chest through the pad. Now you've got the best back in the world, so can't nobody really argue with what you're doing right there. You're, you're bringing your chest off the pad and kind of squeezing. Are you, by doing that, is it allowing you to squeeze a certain part of your back that you can't if you were glued? Right, so 
I do think the, the idea, the cue in your mind should be chest going towards the pad, but I'm actually like, when I say chest towards the pad, it's more of like here. Right. It's not up here, like where my clavicles, like my ch actual chest is, yeah. my shoulders. It's like more down here. So like, I'm kind of arching that back like this. My chest is kind of going up, yeah, chest up, like that. Here. Like chest ch is more chest up mm -hmm. than it is chest forward, okay. if that makes sense. So it it allows me to like get that extra little mm -hmm. arch in my back, mm -hmm. and that arch isn't just like the lower back. It's actually contracting the last bit of my lats. So when you see me do rack pulls, mm -hmm. I'm really trying to bring my shoulders and elbows, shoulders and elbows back and around. So like whenever you hit this, like you're, you're here and I yeah. come around like this, I'm trying to wrap my elbows around my back. It's the same thing. I'm like arching that yeah. my back or my bring my chest up yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. And that, that fires that lower lap. A little bit more range of motion probably. It's just, by coming, you, know. you know, whenever like, if you were to do like a, a calf raise, and you're just kind of doing like this, but then you got that extra little yeah. at the top, right. or like you're doing a bicep curl, you're here, or you come there, that extra little bit at the top, that's what matters. Or chest, you're, you're here, and then you go, it's that last little bit where you're going here, there. Look good. Thanks, man. Oh. Okay. Let's go. This is the one right here. Yep. Yeah, Seated row, do you want to do uh, like, a, like a, another chest supported straight row? What would you rather do? Kind of like that one that we do sometimes. Over That's there. what I was thinking. I was thinking either that one. Yeah. That way we get a new surgery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Back. Okay, because here's, here's my thought is coming into this workout today, I wanted to do the seated row really bad, but I just, I just, I'm thinking to myself, if I do the seated row, I, I, I don't think I'm going to get as much out of my back muscles that I'm trying to stimulate. So like my last. a lot of core too. I'm going to be just yeah. kind of doing what I've already done. I'll end up shrugging. Whereas if I can do like a chest supported uh, row, I can, like we talked about, I can drive my chest forward and um, just really isolate the muscle. So as much as I want to do the full, like, seated row movement, I think I'm going to get less out of it, honestly. So uh, let's do that. You've done a lot of core strength related. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, good. now we just isolate it. Yeah. Straight into it, bro. Full stack. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. 
grips. Huh? Yeah, the um, the notches are coming down like every week. Another one. It's good. Not much left, bro. Pretty smoked, I'm not gonna lie. If we really wanted to, we probably could have called it a day after the last thing, but I just, I don't know, I wanna do a little bit more. I don't, I don't feel like we did quite enough trap stuff. We did uh, over on the free weights, right? But like, when it come to really isolating the muscles, we did more lat movements um, than anything today. So I wanted to hit a little bit of the upper trap before we, you know, left, so. Don't have to go heavy. We just have to really get good, hard contractions, good squeezes, put some blood in those upper traps. And uh, that should be it for today. Good day. You don't have to say that you're highly motivated as long as the work gets done. I am highly motivated and the work is getting done. But at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. It's about putting one foot in front of the other, checking the boxes, getting it done and not missing a beat. So between now and November, whether I say I'm highly motivated or not, you better believe the work is getting done. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, bodybuilding does start with the mind and the spirit. You have to have passion and love and you have to have a positive spirit and a strong, mentality a strong mental fortitude to be able to do the physical part of bodybuilding so to not acknowledge that um my mental state has been solid uh i'm i am motivated uh my spiritual walk is growing closer every day with god which is that's number one that's the best thing Cardio has actually been fun in a way in the morning because I've been listening to sermons and listening to Christian music and praying throughout my entire hour of cardio in the morning. So it's like my time with God, which is awesome. Uh, so that really starts my day off amazing. And then I get to, you know, be at home with my wife who is carrying our child. I think everybody knows that by now, but I'm just saying like <laughs> this is my daily routine. So start my day with God. Then I get to spend it with my wife and my baby on the way so it really keeps me highly motivated and positive and uh purposeful 
And then I get to come to the gym and do what I love. I get to train hard and sculpt this physique and watch my physique transform and the weights go up and 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 the sweat dripping off my my forehead and and uh getting done with a hard set and being exhausted and and, and completely trashed after a workout you know it just that gives me so much like gratitude man it's the mind body and spirit man. All right, that's it guys. Back today, absolutely trashed. Put a good amount of weight in our hands and hit every angle, the lats, the traps, everything. Probably gonna sleep pretty good tonight after the cardio and the training session. So I feel that things are rolling really good right now, progressing quickly with my physique, but we still have over nine weeks left, guys. So stay tuned because we're gonna continue to together watch this physique transform and it's getting me excited every every day every week so again nine weeks left every day is a great day to get better and we're going to make the most out of it if you guys want to support me support the channel pick up the best products out there eva Ju nutrition mega fit meals gas and better bodies clothing and tough wraps all the links are below with my code to save money. Like I said, you guys can pick up the best products for yourselves, whether it be the supplements, the pre-made meals, the clothing, or the tough wraps, which you guys have been seeing me wear, the elbow sleeve, the wrist wraps, they got belts, you know, knee sleeves, they got all kinds of stuff, guys. Check them out. If you guys wanna support me, support the channel, pick it up for yourself. Link and codes are below. And stay tuned, we will be picking the winner of the gasp and better bodies gift cards after this video so subscribe to the channel comment below for your chance to enter into the the giveaway we're gonna have two winners each winner will get a $500 gift card one's from gasp one is from better bodies and we will be announcing it in the next video for the winner of the gasp and better bodies gift cards we will be contacting you through my youtube channel so there's been times in the past where there's been people that try to ask you for money or for your information and it's that's not us guys we are only here to give back to you and we will be contacting you through our youtube channel only so keep that in mind guys if you get any messages from anyone else it's not us just as a forewarn but until next time guys